So I'm here late at night at this parking lot in Rancho Cucamonga, California, and I'm totally geeking out because this isn't paint. The word stop and those arrows are some type of plastic disc that's been glued to the ground. You drive your car over it, it goes bump, bump. I think that's so Go cool on, because man, I- you're tripping me the out. Oh, I'm filming a video about bot stops. They're, they're getting rid of them. The oh, little bumps man, on the road. You're me out, man. Sorry. <laughs> This week I'm outside of Los Angeles, about an hour and a half east, and I'm standing above Interstate 10. This roadway was constructed in the 1960s, and it featured a hot new technology that was going to make driving safer. When you drive in the rain, it's really easy for the lines to just disappear. Water covers the paint, your headlights reflect off the water, not the paint, and when you can't see the painted line in the middle of the street, you don't know where you're supposed to drive. So this is a Botts dot. There was a guy named Albert Botts who was a chemistry professor up in Sacramento. Botts came up with this. It's a ceramic tile that as you drive over them, your car goes bump, 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 bump. The California legislature liked Botts' dots so much, they made them mandatory on all new freeways starting in 1966. When Professor Botts originally created these, he made them out of glass and uh, nailed them down. And the problem is, as traffic drives over these, particularly big trucks, they uh, come dislodged, turn upside down, trucks run over them, and the nail goes into people's tires. So somebody at Caltrans, and it may have been bots, came up with a special adhesive to be able to mount these to the road so that that way they would last a bit longer. Beyond lane changes, bot stops are useful to get a driver's attention. Look at this parking garage here. This is the Television Academy in North Hollywood. The bumps tell drivers to slow down and pay attention to pedestrians who might be walking through the garage around this corner. Bots dots are useful along country roads like this one here, warning that the road is about to end at this stop sign. Anybody who drives in Washington, Oregon, Southern Nevada, uh, Texas, Florida, knows what a bot stop feels like whenever you make a lane change on the freeway. All freeways use these. That is until about a year or two ago, when California decided, eh, they don't want these anymore. Those highway bots dots are being phased out. So why are bots dots going away? Lately, Caltrans has only been getting about six months before these all get ripped back off by traffic. That's how I got my hands on this one. I was in Dallas, Texas, and I saw this little guy sitting on the side of the road and thought, hey baby, you're going in my carry-on. So they're questioning whether these are worth putting down anymore. They did a study about 10 years ago and found that the crash rates on freeways with bot stops aren't much lower than those without. Which kind of goes against some of my intuition which would say that, oh, we should be safer because this would wake somebody up if they're drifting out of their lane. I found out in order to put these in, a crew has to get in a bucket truck, lower it down to the ground, and then manually reach out and put these in one at a time as they're going down the freeway, often with live traffic surrounding them. Now, of course, they'll have highway patrol following them with lights. They'll even run a uh, crash truck behind them, a special truck that has a collapsible barrier. So if a car comes up fast on the bucket truck, they hit the barrier truck rather than them. But that's still a lot of risk. But you can also blame the nerds up in the Bay Area for inventing self-driving technology. Because it turns out, as smart as the self-driving cars are, they can't figure out what one of these is. So to standardize lane markings across the country, the dots have to go. Most of the other states have phased them out. There's a lot of political pressure to get rid of non-standard lane markings. And these can't be used in cold weather states. Snow plows come along and they rip these off. This is the marking that's going to replace the bot dot in California, the Oreo cookie. Black paint edging white paint. Well, technically it's thermal plastic, not paint. This piece of plastic that's glued on and holds up better. I think it's important to reiterate that this is not a Botts' dot. This is a Botts' dot. This is just a raised pavement marker. It doesn't reflect, it doesn't glow in the dark. This 
is a Stimsonite reflector. These are not going away in California. These will still sit. The ones on the freeway you'll see will be white that separate same direction travel. Yellow, of course, separates different direction travel. These will sit between the lane markings. They glow, so as your headlights hit this surface, it glows. This part does not glow. You'll still feel a bump bump on the freeway. It just won't be bump 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 bump, bump like the Botsis dots that, because there's four per lane marking. Now there's just one in between. It'll be more of a every half second bump 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 bump. Now these Stimsonite markers are used in more than just uh, sun country. These actually, I saw in Illinois, uh, they were putting these on the roads, but they dug them down and put them in a metal case. So they're recessed at the level of the road. So the plows could cross over top. I thought that was a pretty clever way of solving it, especially in an area that has a lot of snow plows.